Good evening and welcome to the commencement celebration for the class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats for the national anthem being performed by the Grandview High School Band. seated. Thank you Mr. Carson and our GHS band. At this time I would like to welcome Anna Obregon to the podium to lead us in our invocation. Come on up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If I can have you join me in closing your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, as we come together to celebrate the class of 2023, we ask that you bless each and every one of these young men and women. They have worked hard to get to where they are today, and we know that they have bright futures ahead of them. We pray that you give them the courage to face the challenges that lie ahead, help them to be strong in the face of adversity, and to never give up on their dreams. Give them the wisdom to make good decisions and the humility to ask for help when they need it. We ask that you bless their families and loved ones who have supported them throughout their academic journey. Give them the patience and understanding to continue to support their children as they move on to the next chapter of their lives. We also ask that you bless the teachers and staff who have worked tirelessly to help these students to achieve their goals. Give them the strength to continue to inspire and motivate future generations of students. We pray for guidance and direction for each student as they move on to the next phase of their lives. Help them to find their passion and purpose and to use their talents and abilities to make a positive impact in the world. We ask that you bless them with good health, happiness, and success in all of their endeavors. May they always remember the lessons they learned in school, and may those lessons guide them throughout their lives. We pray they give them the courage to pursue their dreams, even when it seems impossible. Help them to never lose sight of their goals and to always believe in themselves. Finally, we ask that you bless this community and all those who have come together to celebrate the class of 2023. May we continue to support and encourage one another, and may we always remember the importance of education and the power of hard work and dedication. We thank you for your love and guidance, and we ask that you continue to watch over us all. Amen. Querido Padre que está en el cielo, al reunirnos hoy para salvar los logros de la clase de 2023, te pedimos que bendigas a cada uno de ellos con tu amor y tu guía. Esos jóvenes han trabajado duro para llegar a donde están hoy, y sabemos que tienen un futuro brillante por delante. Te pedimos que les la fuerza y la sabiduría para enfrentar los desafíos que se presenten. Ayudas a ser valientes ante la adversidad y, y nunca renunciar a sus sueños. Dales la sabiduría para tomar buenas decisiones y la humildad para pedir ayuda cuando la necesiten. También te pedimos que bendigas a sus familias y seres queridos quienes los han apoyado durante su trayectoria académica. Dales la paciencia y el entendimiento para seguir apoyando a sus hijos mientras avanzan hacia el siguiente capítulo de sus vidas. 
Te pedimos que bendigas a los maestros y el personal que han trabajado incansablemente para ayudar a estos estudiantes a alcanzar sus metas. Dales la fortaleza para seguir inspirando y motivando a futuras generaciones de estudiantes. Te pedimos guía y dirección para cada estudiante mientras avanzan hacia la siguiente fase de sus vidas. Ayudas a encontrar su pasión y propósito y a utilizar sus talentos y habilidades para tener un impacto positivo en el mundo. Te pedimos que los bendigas con buena salud, felicidad y éxito en todos sus esfuerzos. Que siempre recuerden las lecciones que aprendieron en la escuela y que esas lecciones los guíen a lo largo de sus vidas. Oremos para que les des la valentía para perseguir sus sueños, incluso cuando parezca imposible. Ayudas a nunca perder de vista sus metas y a siempre creer en sí mismos. Finalmente, te pedimos que bendigas a esta comunidad y a todos que se han reunido para celebrar la clase 2023. Que sigamos apoyándonos y alentándonos mutuamente y que siempre recordemos la importancia de la educación y el poder del trabajo duro y la dedicación. Te agradecemos por tu amor y guía y te pedimos que sigas cuidándonos a todos. Amén. Thank you, Anna. It's important to recognize that the Grandview School District has three educational programs that offer options for meeting the graduation requirements of, Grandview, of the Grandview School District. In addition to the Grandview High School, students can attend our Contract Learning Center, which allows for greater flexibility and meets the unique needs of some students. The Grandview School District also has a partnership with Yakima Valley College. We jointly offer a program called Step Up to College through Open Doors. There are multiple avenues to gain credits toward graduation. We recognize that every student is unique and strive to meet students and their families in the ways that they need the most. I would like to acknowledge the amazing staff from all of these programs. Thank you for all that you do to make Grandview High high school and our district a great place for all students. The combined efforts of these three programs present to you 251 graduates. Last year we graduated 242 students. This will be the biggest graduating class of all time. An event like this does not happen without a lot, and I do mean a lot of help and dedication. I'd like to start by thanking the GHS administrative team. Our team is incredibly talented and hardworking. Mr. Paris, Mr. Reeser, and Ms. Jimenez, please stand. Thank you for your dedication and loyalty to our students and the greater educational community. I'd also like to thank the class of 2023 advisors, Mrs. Peyton Bonney and Mrs. Madeline Moraz. Will you please rise? Your commitment and dedication to this class has helped these young men and women mature into wonderful people they have become. Students, Give it up one more time for your class advisors. Our underclassmen also helped to make this event special. First, we want to acknowledge the ninth grade class and their advisors, Mr. Ochoa and Ms. Perez, for the flowers that the graduates are carrying. The sophomores and their advisors, Mr. Bunker and Mrs. Sancher, for their work in preparing the stadium and providing decorations for today's event. The junior class, with the help of the advisors, Ms. Paradis and Mr. Peterson, also worked hard to put on a fun and exciting junior-senior prom. It takes work behind the scenes as well so from the support staff to the ground and maintenance teams, as well as the Grandview Police Department and Fire Departments, thank you all for doing many of the thankless jobs. We would not be here without you. <laughs> to Mr. Carson and the Grandview High School Band and Mariachi, we thank you for your hard work in preparation for today and making our school filled with music.
I'd also like to thank our Grandview School District Board and the cabinet members that support all of the schools that we have here in Grandview. Thank you. <laughs> Lastly, and probably most importantly, I want to thank our parents for their hard work, dedication, and love for your students. In our community, La Familia es todo. Without your support, tears, long nights, and wise counsel, our students would not be sitting before you today. Graduates, may you continue to make your parents proud. Give back to them the love you have received. And portate bien. Before we begin our full program this evening, I want to take a minute to acknowledge some amazing accomplishments that these students have completed. I think it is best when we can see visually their accomplishments. So graduates, please stand when you hear the category that you may fit into. So please stand if you earned credits through college in the high school. If you attended YV Tech, please stand. If you attended Running Start, please stand. If you are joining the military, please stand. If you have been accepted to a two or four year college or university, please stand. Nice. If you are joining the workforce, please stand. We're proud of you. If you have been a member of a club at GHS, please stand. If you have participated in band, please stand. How about if you participated in mariachi? If you earned credits through the stamp test and are considered biliterate, please stand. And finally, if you are a student athlete, or were a student athlete at any time, please stand. Our students are incredibly talented. They will be leading our county, state, country, and world. They are our future. Congratulations. This year, the class of 2023 has selected Grandview High School teacher, Mr. Bunker, as their class speaker. <laughs> Mr. Bunker graduated high school from Rochester, Washington, received his bachelor's degree from Central Washington University, and his master's degree from Southeastern Oklahoma State University in 2021. Mr. Bunker began his teaching career in Grandview in 2012 and has um, and builds incredible relationships with our students, helping them through teen years in many ways other than just teaching social studies. Mr. Bunker and I have been friends for over 10 years. We both had sons on the same day in the same hospital delivered by the same doctor. Kind of crazy. Please put your hands together in welcoming Mr. Bunker. Thank you very much, you guys. Okay, Whew. I'm actually pretty nervous. It is a great honor to be here before you and chosen as your 2023 guest speaker. 
This actually cost me a lot of money to beat out Miss Wilson and buy all those votes. I've gotten to know a lot of you over the years, whether it was on the court in middle school basketball, in room 114, or room 2217, depending on which building we're talking about. Learning about all things social studies from Washington State history, AP United States history, to even Central Washington University American government and politics. I want to give a special shout out to my advisory class. We have, we've been through a lot together, from the pandemic to transitioning into a new high school. If there's one thing that I've learned over the past four years is that Grandview and our community is comprised of really awesome families and kids we produce are pretty amazing too. As a teacher that spends a lot of time with your kids, I personally want to say thank you. Thank you for the morals, ethics, and the expectations that you instill in our children. Class of 2023, please take a time, take a minute to acknowledge your friends and family that are here today and help shape you who you are. I have three challenges for you this evening as you leave here and embark on this exciting new chapter of your lives. Number one, I challenge you to always persevere. Number two, I challenge you to learn from the mistakes that you make. And number three, these are three of my favorite words, I challenge you to just be nice. Perseverance, the ability to overcome obstacles, to keep moving forward, to not give up. This is not always easy, and in the most cases, it is actually very difficult. I don't want to be a downer tonight, but one thing you all know about me is that I will not lie to you, and I'm a very transparent person. Life is hard. It will continually throw curveballs at you. It will test your willpower, it will test your patience, and it will challenge you to your very core. How you respond to these situations will end up defining you and your pathway to success. If, you, if I could give you some advice with this topic, it is to never give up. Keep fighting for what you want and what you believe in. Seek advice from those that have persevered and find support from these people and forge your way. And remember, doing the right thing is not always the popular thing. I challenge you to persevere. Learn to gain knowledge of a skill in something by study, experience, or being taught. I, rem I remember being 14 to 19 years old I was without a doubt the smartest person in the entire world. There was nothing that a teacher, my parents, or a family member that could tell me that I didn't already know. But now, at 41 years old, I am far from the smartest person in the world and not even in my own household. I have an eight-year-old and a six-year-old that remind me of that on a daily basis. They have now assumed the smartest person in the world badges. Throughout life, mistakes will happen. It's inevitable. Learn from those mistakes. Be humble. Persevere. Do not dwell on mistakes. Do not regret mistakes. Own them and learn from them. This will help you persevere. I challenge you to never stop learning. Just be nice. Having a friendly or generous nature or attitude helpful to others. This is one thing in life that we can control on a daily basis. How we treat each other, how we speak to each other, and how we interact with one another. I sincerely challenge you to be kind and nice to one another. If there is one thing that I know this world needs, it needs a lot of love. There is way too much hate, judgment, and always remember, anytime you point a finger, there are at least three pointing back at you. Surround yourself with good people, good friends, good role models, and don't let them go, and don't look back. When and if someone wants to be mean to you, judge you, treat you unkindly, beat it with kindness. Don't let negative people under your skin or change your kind demeanor. Challenge yourself to not clap back. Be the bigger person and walk away. I challenge you to just be nice. In closing, you're an amazing, you, you are all amazing and you have a unique journey of life. Do not take it for granted and do not forget where you came from. Do not forget about little old Grandview, Washington. 
and the community, the school, the family members, the teachers that helped shape and mold you to who you are today. And remember, no matter where life takes you, you can always come home. And when you do, do not forget to visit Old Man Bunker. And one last very important thing. Bigfoot is absolutely real. We just haven't found him yet. Congratulations, class of 2023. I am so excited for you and to see where you are about to become and where you go. I love you all, and I wish you the very, very best. Thank you, Mr. Bunker. Keep inspiring our students. Now, let's listen to our Grandview High School band as they play What a Wonderful World.
What an amazing performance. Thank you. Please notice the seniors that join them. We're all going to miss you guys. So at this time, I would like to introduce the 2023 class valedictorians. Please stand as I call your name. Jasmine Ritchie. <laughs> Elaine Ramos. Lily Cassinger. And Cole Judkins. These students have worked hard to maintain perfect grades throughout their high school career. Each of them will present a message to their students and those attending today. First, please welcome Elaine Ramos. Good evening, distinguished guests, faculty members, parents, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2023. My name is Elaine Ramos, and it is truly an honor to stand before you on this day to celebrate our years of hard work, dedication, personal growth, and countless memories. It is one final gathering between us classmates, many of which have grown with one another since kindergarten. It is a day filled with mixed emotions, a blend of joy and anticipation for the future. We came into high school as freshmen, stepping foot into a building that held generations of memories where our parents had once attended and called their own. Little did we know that our journey would be marked by such significant transformations. As we stand here today on graduation day, we must acknowledge that the school we are leaving behind is not the same one we entered. As we all know, life is full of unexpected twists and turns. We faced a pandemic that reshaped our reality and our freshman year was cut short. We learned to adapt, embrace masks and social distance and shifted to remote learning, all while trying to make the most of our high school experience. Returning to a new building after the pandemic, we created new memories and discovered our own resilience. We have grown both as individuals and as a class, learning valuable lessons along the way. As with any journey, mine has had its ups and downs because my experience as a student here at Granby High School was unique to say the least. The entirety of my sophomore year was through online learning then I made the decision to become a full-time Running Star student during my junior and senior years. This opportunity allowed me to enroll in classes at Yakima Valley College, simultaneously working towards my high school diploma and an associate's degree. Balancing the demands of college-level coursework while remaining a student at Grandview High School presented its own set of challenges. I was not able to see my friends a lot of the time and I hardly spent time here on campus. It wasn't until my senior year that I came back to the high school to take classes. I had to then adapt to a new building, hallways, and teachers that I was not familiar with. While it may seem that I missed out on a traditional high school experience, I want to emphasize that it has been a journey filled with dedication and support from my families and my parents. Today, I stand before you with immense pride as I will be receiving my associate's degree in business alongside my high school diploma. My story, oh. my story can serve as an example that everyone's high school experience can be different. And it is important to never compare our own journey or life to that of others. Each of us has our own unique path and it is through embracing our individual experiences that we can truly find fulfillment and success in the future. 
However, our high school experience extends far beyond just the challenges and difficulties that we faced. It is the friendships we have built, the bonds we have created, and the memories we will cherish forever. We have laughed together, cried together, and stood by each other's side through thick and thin. With our teachers' unwavering support and belief in us, we have the ability to face the unknown. Thank you to our teachers for your dedication, passion, and guidance throughout our high school journey. Your belief in our potential has shaped us into the individuals we are today. Thank you for standing by our side, believing in us even when we didn't believe in ourselves, inspiring us to reach for greatness, and giving us the knowledge and resilience to embrace the limitless possibilities that await us. And let us not forget the support system that has been there for us throughout this journey, our families. To our parents, guardians, siblings, and extended families, thank you for your love, sacrifices, and support. You have been our pillar of strength, offering guidance, guidance and encouragement throughout our journey. I would also like to thank my parents, Albert and Susana Ramos, for the support, love, and encouragement, which has been the driving force behind my achievements. From the countless sacrifices you have made to the constant belief in my abilities and to your support throughout my journey in and out of school. You have pushed me to achieve my goals and to pursue what I was passionate about, such as being in Running Start and starting my own business, known as Elaine's Customs, which can be found on Instagram. <laughs> Mom and Dad. Mom and Dad, you were always there for me when I needed you. Without you guys, I wouldn't be up here on this stage, and I'm forever grateful for the values and lessons you have taught me, which has shaped my character and prepared me for the challenges ahead. Finally, my fellow graduates, today we celebrate not only an end, but a beginning. A beginning filled with infinite possibilities and boundless opportunities. As we step forward into this new chapter of our lives, let us go forth with determination, courage, and a deep sense of purpose. Let us cherish the memories we have created, the lessons we have learned, and the friendships we have made. And together, let us create a future that we can be proud of. May we always remember that our greatest potential lies within us and that our collective impact can shape a future filled with hope. Thank you and congratulations, my fellow graduates. Let me introduce our next speaker, Lily Kassinger. Hello, class of 2023, our families, and our community. These past four years have been a wild ride from start to finish. At the beginning of this year, I started counting down the days until this very moment, but I know it's a good time to leave when an underclassman asks if I was Mrs. Charvet. <laughs> but I am so grateful to have been able to attend Grandview since I was in kindergarten. You'd think all these years would be enough, but I'm truly going to miss this place. But growing up in a small town like Grandview, there are just some things that happen here that wouldn't happen anywhere else. Like bumping into half of my teachers every time I take my dog on a walk, or ending up on the Main Street Grandview board where the executive director is the mom of the boy I kissed in kindergarten. <laughs> or actually learning enough Spanish to pass my seal of biliteracy. I'll forever cherish the memories I've made here, and I can't wait to take them on with me as I continue my educational journey. Like many of you, I'll be a first-generation college student. Go Cougs! <laughs> Despite the fact that we may not all share the same background or upbringing, I want you to know that we are more similar than we may realize. The person in front of you, the person beside you, and the person behind you each has their own story. But at the end of the day, we've all had to overcome obstacles and adversity in our journey towards being here today. It's hard to believe when we're all dressed up and ready to celebrate this special night that it took so much dedication and perseverance to get here. And you might see all this stuff dangling around my neck and think, her, she must have had it easy. 
And you're right in the sense that having good grades was the easy part, but the hard part was believing that I was meant to stick around here, to be here at home. But I am here, and it's thanks to my supportive friends, family, and this faculty that I am, and being the lifeline that I needed. I'm not gonna tell you my whole story, because it's still a work in progress, but please know that, please let this go to show you that you never know what goes on behind closed doors. While you might never know what someone else is going through, please know that your patience and your kindness can go so far for someone in their time of need. To those of you who have struggled or have, are struggling, please reach out. Someone is always going to care for you. You are worth it. And you all have bright futures ahead of you if you would just reach out and take it. So now is the time to move on. Whatever you have faced in your journey towards getting here today, take this opportunity to put it behind you. Let it be your motivation towards creating something better for yourself. Don't let your shortcomings define you. Define yourself in spite of them. Because you are all capable of coming back from your darkest moments, and I am living proof of them. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you. Please help me welcome your next speaker, Jasmine Ritchie. Wow, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> okay. Good evening, friends, family, teachers, and like Elaine said, most importantly, the class of 2023. I've always dreamt of talking to you today and being labeled valedictorian, although it is a little scary in front of thousands of people. Everyone says high school flies by in a blink of an eye. I didn't realize how true that was until now, standing here in front of you all. The class of 2023, we grew up. What we didn't realize was how fast we were going up and somehow the 13 years flew by. Years turned into months, months turned into days, and days turned into minutes. One minute until we possibly never stepped foot in high school again. But we never realized how much we would want another minute. One more minute to laugh with your friends in class, one more sports game, one more assembly, and one more minute to just have fun. We were always rushing and waiting till the time was up, and now what we would do just to have one more minute. Families, you're most likely wondering where the time has gone. From yelling at your child for being so dirty after playing outside all day, to, sh to struggling to solve their math problems that have you both crying at the dinner table. As you watch and celebrate your graduates' accomplishments today, remember what it took, them, took to get them there. All the hard sweat and tears it took you to give them a good life. We are here today because of you. Students, never forget you are still your parents' little baby, no matter how old we get. Remember, your parents' cries are tears that are full of joy and memories. Their tears are the anticipation of the journey that is ahead of you. Your life has a purpose, and you are destined for great things. And they might also be a sign of relief that you're leaving the house soon. <laughs> Don't take the time we have for granted. In other words, parents, as much as we bicker, we always love you, and we appreciate everything you have done. I wish I could thank each and every one of you that has helped me along my journey at Grandview High School. But that would have me talking for way too long. So I'm going to try to sort it up. I want to start off and thank my closest friends for making my senior year the amazing year it was. I love you always, and I pray for your happiness and success. To the teachers who have helped me tremendously, I'm sure you all know who you are. <laughs> I definitely would not be standing here if it weren't for you guys. Thank you, Swear, for allowing me to be a part of the ASB team. It has been such a fun experience, and I love every minute of it. Even the times I was stressed crying over organizing adopt a family. Love those times, too. <laughs> to our angels that are here in spirit, thank you for guiding us to achieve the, this big milestone. Every loved one we have lost is looking down and is proud of us. I want to thank my parents and my family. Thank you for always believing me, believing in me, and supporting me in all I do. They never gave me any, any idea that I couldn't do whatever I wanted to do or be whoever I wanted to be. Thank you for sacrificing so much time and money so I could play the sports I love. I will forever be grateful for that. Thank you for showing me unconditional love all these years and raising me into the woman I am. My dedication, accomplishments, and drive are dedicated to you all. The people who push me the most to strive for greatness. Although I am moving 16 hours away, I am just a phone call away. And finally, to my little brother Jason. This one's hard to say. <laughs> Despite the five years between us, I know I can call you my best friend for, for the rest of my life. 
Never forget, I'll always be your older sister that you can come home and talk cheese with. Thank you for all the laughs and late night talks that you don't realize I need. Thank you for the hugs I have to force you to give me. I still appreciate them. Even though I won't be a room away to talk to you, you know I'll always be here for you. And I know you'll do great things in life, and I'm proud to be called your older sister. Our class came together as strangers, but we will now leave as friends, family, and people we knew in high school. As we part ways and create our own lives, I hope you all choose the right path. And if you don't, I hope you choose the right person to call. And let's hope they answer. Classmates, this will possibly be the, be the last time we get to see each other. Make every last minute count and enjoy each other's company. To end it off, I want to quote a verse from a famous artist named J. Cole. There's always going to be a better car than the one you got. There's always going to be some clothes that's fresher than the ones you rock. There's always going to be a house somewhere with bigger doors, but you are never going to be happy until you love yours. That is just a reminder to never compare your life to anyone else. Take this verse with you in life and use it to its full potential. So the class of 2023, congratulations, and make every, every minute of your life count. Please help me welcome our final speaker, Cole Jetkins. Hello everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Cole Judkins and I'm one of your four valedictorians for the class of 2023. Cole, to start this off, I just want to say that love is a verb. The ability to love something else is a conscious action and it's an action that each of us hold within ourselves. In my 13 years as a part of this family, I've been given more love than I could ever hope to dish back out. The people that I've met and the things that I've been gifted with will truly stay with me forever. I only ever wanted to give everything back to this town because that's exactly what it gave to me. Each of us here today has been shown love in one way, shape, or form. Whether it was a present, some motivating words, or even just a smile from a stranger in the hallways. We have all been blessed because of those around us. The song, You Get What You Give by New Radicals says it best as, this world is gonna pull through, don't give up. You've got a reason to live, can't forget, we only get what we give. We share the love that we receive, and it's easy to stop giving this love when we feel like we're not receiving enough back. But in the times when we're hurt, and in the times when it's hardest to share love, it's often the times that we need to most. I attended a leadership camp last year where the main theme was spreading agape love. Now agape love is different than just love. You could love someone and shower them with attention and gifts and kind words and really just do whatever you wanted to do for that person, but it wouldn't be agape love. Like I said before, it's easy to stop giving love when we feel we aren't getting the right amount back. It could be a spouse, a friend, or even a coworker. If you show this person that you only care when you feel like it, you're falling way short. This is where agape love comes in. By showing someone agape love, you choose to love them despite how you feel that day. You choose to love them even if it means it's hard, and you choose to love them even if it may mean forgiving. You actively choose to put your emotions aside to look at someone and say, how can I be here for you today? I look at each and every single one of our graduates and I see it within them. I see a want to help others and a passion in doing real good for our world. As we walk off the stage today and into whatever life holds for us, we can be confident and stand firm in the fact that knowing that we are able to choose to spread our agape love to whoever we want to. We can choose kindness and we can choose something far greater than ourselves to bless as many people as we can that find their way into our lives. Remember. This world is not changed by a few extraordinary individuals, but by the collective efforts of ordinary people, like you and I, who choose to love fiercely and unconditionally. Let us be those people, united in our commitment to make this world a better, more loving place. It is our responsibility, it's on us, to be the light in the world as we go out. We need to bring out the best in others, even when it may be the hardest thing to do. I know that each and every single one of our graduates is capable of this, and I can't wait to see them make it happen. Thank you, JHS, and remember, it will always be a great day to be a Greyhound. I now hand the mic back off to Pitbull, oh, Mr. Anderson. All right, dale, dale. Thank you guys for your words. You are definitely an inspiration to all of us. Now let's sit back and enjoy a performance by our very own GHS 
Mariachi Grand Vista. Yo tengo 
el más triste de Cuello de Acapulco Como quisiera Mirándolos Amor entero Inolvidable Y aaron temprano Estaré contigo Para seguir Amando Thank you, Mr. Carson, and our Grandview Mariachi. Let's give him one more round of applause. At this time, I would like to invite our acting superintendent, Jose Rivera, to the podium. I would like to take a moment to thank Mr. Rivera for his years of commitment to the Grandview School District and the so social justice platform that he brings to our schools. Thank you for making Grandview a great place to send our students. Good evening, Grandview. And thank you, Mr. Anderson. So I'm going to address the class of 2023 so, dear Grandview High School, Contract Learning Center, and Open Door graduation, graduating class of 2023, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to you on reaching this major milestone in your academic journey. As you prepare to move on to the next phase of your life, I encourage you to take a moment to re reflect on all that, you've, that you have accomplished thus far and to give yourself credit for your perseverance and dedication. As you step out into the world and pursue your passions, I want you to remember that success is not determined by just achievements, finances, or material things. Instead, it's about the connections you make, the knowledge that you gain, and the impact you have on those around you. Remember to always lead, live, and learn with love, with integrity, grace, and acceptance of all. Whether you're going on to higher education, into the workforce, or the military, it's important that you take the time to think back to your school days and remember those who helped you get to where you are tonight. Your parents, your teachers, your fellow classmates, family, friends, and your community. All have had a part in helping you reach your goals. Though most have not asked for it, and probably won't, they deserve the respect and the gratitude. No one, and I mean no one, achieves success alone. We all stand on the shoulders of those who have come before us, and I'm confident that they are as proud of you as I am. I know that you will face many challenges in your life journey, but have faith in your abilities to overcome them. When faced with difficult situations, remember to stay positive, maintain your focus, believe in yourself, and most importantly, invest in yourself. You are the biggest project you're ever going to work on in life. 
Setbacks are normal and part of life. What makes the biggest difference is how you respond to those setbacks. Remember, we never lose, we just learn. There's nothing you cannot achieve if you set your heart and your mind to it. Again, wherever life takes you, remember the values that have served you well thus far. Hard work, perseverance, kindness, and respect. Use these values as your guiding principles and you will undoubtedly make a positive difference in the world. On behalf of the Grandview School District Board of Directors, all of the Grandview School District staff, and of course our community, I wish you all the success and happiness that life has to offer you as you begin your new chapter. Stay curious, be open to new experiences, and never forget the amazing things that you are capable of doing and achieving. The best part of your story is yet to come, and Gravity will be here cheering you on through all of it. Congratulations, class of 2023. You are graduates of Grandview School District. Go forth and be amazing. Estimada Escuela Secundaria de Grandview, Centro de Aprendizaje por Contacto, CLC, y la clase de graduados de Puertas Abiertas de 2023. Quiero extender mis más sinceras felicitaciones por alcanzar este hito importante en su viaje académico. Mientras se preparan para pasar a la siguiente fase de sus vidas, les animo que se tomen un momento a reflexionar sobre todo lo que han uh, logrado hasta hoy. Que se den el crédito por su perseverancia y dedicación. A medida que salgan al mundo a perseguir sus pasiones, quiero que recuerden que el éxito no es determinado únicamente por los logros, las finanzas o las pasiones materiales. En cambio, se trata de las conexiones que hacemos, el conocimiento que obtenemos y el impacto en que tenemos con quien está que nos rodea. Recuerda siempre líder, vivir y aprender con amor inclusión, gracia y aceptando a todos. Ya sea que vayan al colegio, educación superior o a la fuerza laboral o al ejército, es importante que tomen el tiempo para pensar en sus días de escuela y recuerden a, que, a, a aquellos que les han ayudado a llegar a este momento esta noche. Tus padres, los maestros, tus compañeros de escuela, familiares, amigos y la comunidad. Todos contribuyeron a ayudarte a alcanzar, a alcanzar tus metas. Aunque, no, aunque la mayoría probablemente no haya pedido ninguno, merece su respeto y gratitud. Nadie logra el éxito solo. Todos nos apoyamos en los hombros de quienes nos presidieron antes de nosotros y estoy seguro que tan ellos como yo están muy orgullosos de su esfuerzo. Sé que enfrentarán muchas des, muchos desafíos en el camino en tu, de su vida, pero tengo la fe en sus habilidades para superarlos. Cuando se enfrenten en una situación difícil, recuerden, mantengan una, una man, manera positiva y tienen que mantener su enfoque, creer en este ustedes mismos y invertir en ustedes. Ustedes serán el proyecto más grande que trabajarán en sus vidas. Ustedes. Los fracasos son normales y parte de la vida. Lo que hace la mayor diferencia es cómo respondemos esos, en esos fracasos. Recordar que nunca perdemos, solo aprendemos. No hay nada que puedan lograr si ponen su corazón y su mente en ello. Donde quiera que te lleve la vida, Recuerda los valores que te han servido bien ahora. Trabajo duro, perseverancia, habilidad y respeto. Usa estas, usa estas virtudes como tus principios rectores y sin duda harás una diferencia positiva en este mundo. En el nombre de la Mesa Directiva Escolar de Gremio, 
de todos, de todos los personal del Distrito Escolar de Greenview y nuestra comunidad, les deseo todo el éxito y la felicidad que la vida tiene para ofrecerles y al comenzar ese nuevo capítulo de sus vidas. Mantengan curiosidad, estén abiertos a nuevas oportunidades y nunca olviden las cosas asombrosas que pueden y son capaces de lograr. La mejor parte de su historia aún está por venir y Grandview estará aquí animándolos durante todo eso y los esperamos que tengan mucho éxito. Felicitaciones clase de 2023. Ustedes graduaron del Distrito Escolar de Grandview. Adelante y sean increíbles. Gracias. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, Mr. Rivera. Now, for the time you all have been waiting for. As principal of Grandview High School, it is my honor and privilege to present the members of the graduating class of 2023, having met all the requirements of our district in the state of Washington, Mr. Rivera, and the members of the school board, I present to you the graduating class of 2023 from Grandview High School. Reading the names of our graduates this evening is senior class president Ethan Fajardo and ASB president Cole Judkins. Pl Please come forward to your positions and prepare to read the names of our graduates. Yeah, you relax. Oh my God, Josh. What is it? Are we switching, Cole? Hello? Is it? To get us going, Christian Sanchez. Natalie Be Belly Copeland. Oh. I'm <laughs> Damaris Delgado Martinez. Emma Selena Cantu. Myra Perez. Julian Rodolfo Garza. Yureli Morales Bustamante. Sari Agundis. Lizette Jimenez Morales. Natalie Trevino. Lily Rose Cassinger. Mia Nicole Sanchez. Abigail Fajardo. Jasmine Nicole Ritchie. Jaslyn Anderson. Marlene Cervantes Acobo. Elaine Bella Ramos. Anthony Flores. Selene Marquez. Kane Folden. Jacqueline Escarreño Arroyo. Nicholas Valenzuela. Marissa Zapeda. Genesis Luani Pieto. Karen Hernandez. Larissa Gonzalez. James Olson. Ashley Villegas. George Mraz Valles. 
Celeste Andalin Sandoval Herrera. Angel Mendoza. Itzel Duran. Victoria Conde. Brandy Alondra Martinez Rivera. Anna Carolina Obregón. Viviana Lizette Villalobos. Elena Medrano. Daniel Martinez. Alia Gutierrez. Andres de Robles. Serena Jensen. Danny Ale Huero. Malia Jones. Micaela Figueroa. Ruby Cuevas Chavez. Lydia Ramos. Juliana González. Diana Irera Barón. Santos Mendoza. Destiny Teles. Samantha Alcaraz. Brandon Teles Vargas. Ryan No. Cesar Valencia Sanchez. Micah Matheny. George Perez. Elijah Burson. Jasmine Herrera. Jonathan Flores. Carla Aruro. Rene Garza Jr. Jesus Esteban Sororo. Maria Martinez. Viviana Jimenez. Kaylee Lee Beltran. Luz Maria Martinez. Devlin Kitsky. Montserrat Segal. Ariana Milanes. Edgar Mendoza Esquerano. Dominic Rodriguez. Abdiel Lopez Mendoza. Yerrania Barron. Christopher Kiski. Lisbeth Garcia. Joshua Alvarez. Sophie Grant. Atsiri Venrosto. Yoslin Diego. Angelina Teles Zuno. Alexandra Garcia. All right. Casey Linnithal. Alyssa Romero. Ayana Yanez Morales. Wyatt Lehman. Ayana Zuniga. Daniel Garcia Robles. Emmanuel Quinn Torres. Richard Madrigal. Sergio Ochoa. Ramiro Armenta. Eric Lepe. Edith Barrera. Daniela Acobo. Kelly Ramos. Emily Ziff. Ariana Vargas. Juan Diego Marquez. Sarixa Sarate Rodriguez. Estrella Navo. Jesus Velasquez. Maribel Oseguera. Hello Cardines. Diego Altamirano. Selena Alize Madrigal. Eduardo Cruz Bustamante. Teresa Rueta. 
Jesus, Trujillo, Uribe. Enrique Godínez. Ramón Ábalos. Ashley Cruz Buntamante. Jasper Olea. Jaslyn Mejia. Valeria Madrid. Alejandra Rios Mendoza. Mirtha Moreno. Kimberly Escavia Chavez. Diana Corona Mendoza. Elias Gonzalez. Jose Hernandez Espinosa. Rafael Garcia. Juan Diego Ramirez. Joshua Myers. Lisandro, Lisandro Solosano. Jaylin Pineda. Lisandro Solosano. Leslie Beth Lara. Alejandro Arias. Yaritzel Uribe. Acobo Cardines. Carlos Ochoa. Catalina Castro. Jacob Asael Jaimes. Jordan Hernandez. Jace De Rosa. Giorno Brito. Vanessa Avina Gonzalez. Sean Lopez Anthony Gonzalez. Leslie Fernandez Cardenas. <laughs> Eric Martin. Victoria Eileen Renhel. Victor Peña. Paula Hexamani Hernandez. Angel Medina. Alexis Mendoza. Oscar Hernandez. Julian Morales. Austin Ray Chubbs Garza. Alia Cristina Alanis. Javi LeBron Rodriguez Jr. Jada Martinez. Daryl Farnsworth. Cassandra Ortega. Brianna Schneider. Candelaria Carranza. Raymond Mireles. Alejandra Sanchez. Belen Trojiro. Evelyn Lizette Reyes. Israel Degado. Elsie Madera. Dominic Rivera Vasquez. Isela Mendoza. Eric Campesano. Alize Mary Jane Jaime. Leslie Ochoa. Michaela Marie Ibarra. Nelly Nehera. Cassidy Mariah Wizard. Okay. Think of the H as a W. Andres Birrota. Cassidy, what was it? Mar Cassidy Mariah Wizard. Okay. Cassidy Mariah Wizard. Marco Prieto. Justin Beto. <laughs> Carlos Guillen. I got you. Connor Cooper. Matthew Isaiah Magana. Hector Manuel Vasquez Silva. Kayla Contreras. Zeus Montano. Lillian Soto. Emmanuel Perez Gonzalez. Angel Cogete Ticla. Jose Asiga. Marcos Montiel. Julian Chavez. Anissa Marie Oliveres Fernandez. Manuel Silva. Alicia Espinosa. Romeo Campuzano. 
Robert Andres Roberto. Romeo Campuzano. Jonathan Valencia Sanchez. David Carrillo. Jose Flores Vargas. Eric Martinez. Alex Torres. Bruno Espinosa. Joanna Cruz Vega. Ila Cruz. Ashley Espasa. Bradley De La Mora. Carlos Hernandez. Jose Ramos III. Freddy Camacho. Xander Tizik Palayo. Oh! No way, no way. Jose Carlos Hernandez. Christopher Martinez Ramos. Brian Brosio. David Martinez. Alyssa Torres. Matthew Melendez. Tasha Young. Jennifer Solis Rios. Brenda Naomi Mendoza. Alexis Lopez. Elian Ibarra. Gabriel Cardenas. Hunter Varela. Daniel Dominguez. Luis Lara. Mario Montesinos. Jasper Cedarwood. Anthony Sanchez. Mayra Delgado. Ignacio Cuisada Herrera. Carlos Prieto. Hunter Schultz. Gustavo Morales. Ethan Marcial Fajardo. Cole Jerkins. What an incredible journey it has been with our graduates. Congratulations to all. Before we have the traditional turning of the tassel and the fireworks, seniors, remember that your senior party begins inside GHS in 30 minutes. Members of the community, please remember to wait to greet your student until they have fully exited the turf area. Thank you, be safe and enjoy the moment. Teachers, please make your way to the far end of the field to greet the graduates as they exit. Now is the time. Ethan Fajardo and Cole Judkins, would you join me one last time on stage for the turning of the tassel? GHS class of 2023, please turn your tassels from right to left. Vamos!